Ruach Shalom, saints of God, to God be all the glory for the things he has done. He's done great things for us, and we are exceedingly glad. To God be all the glory. God has done wonderful things. From the high tops of the valley, from eternity to time, we got to give him some praise. For we do not know what's going on in the spiritual world unless we are in the spirit. Amen. And so because we know that God um, has as us uh, um, locked in in his glory and his presence. Amen. We want to thank God for you who's taking time out of your busy schedule uh, to come listen to what this earthen vessel has to say to you all, to us on today. We want to salute every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher, uh, bishop, first lady, deacons, uh, minister of music, youth pastor, amen, intercessors, we thank God for you, ushers, we give God praise for you as well, we thank God for what you are doing and you are standing on your post, for there's nothing else than you know where to be in the right time, according to God's order and command, and for that we want to give him all that is due on today. We thank God for everyone who is celebrating Father's Day, Mother's Day. Every day is a is a is a gift. That's why it's called the present. <laughs> and so we want to thank God for everyone who graduated, everyone who um uh, who is celebrating a birthday, an anniversary. We thank God for you all. We thank God that God has granted us another year. Amen. To see another uh, add-on uh, 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 addition on to what you have already uh, accumulated. Amen. Uh, from the anniversary, from the birthdays. <laughs> Amen. We thank God for you. We thank God for those who are celebrating even retirement. Amen, Jesus. <laughs> and so we want to thank God for your service, no matter where it is, from, from dietary all the way to uh, the law. Um, we thank God for you. We thank God for you. We thank God for you. We cannot thank God enough of for what he has done is greater than the things that we have not even seen yet. For eyes truly have not seen, nor ears have heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man what God has in store for his children. Uh, and we thank God for what is being said and done on today. So before we can do anything else, let's go to God in prayer on today. Father, we want to thank you. We want to bless you. We want, Lord God, to do, we desire, Lord God, to worship you in spirit and in truth. We thank you, oh God, that you, Lord God, gave us a mindset to praise your holy and matchless name. Love on you like never before. For we realize it is you, oh God, who has made us and not we ourselves. And that's why, Lord God, you have gave us this command to enter your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise and so god with the fruit of our lips we want to give you praise right now we are giving you honor right now we are giving you glory right now to god be all the glory for the things you have done we thank lord god for divine protection all week long that we realize oh god it is you oh god that is covering us that is holding us together for us oh god to do what you want us to do and that is to continue on to establish your kingdom, winning souls for you, one by one, two by two. And so, God, we thank, Lord God, for the zeal of the Lord, which makes, Lord God, us, uh, oh God, want to do more for you. But we thank you for washing away our sins, though they are many before you, sins of omission and commission. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to wash us whiter than snow right now with the precious blood of Jesus Christ that strained down on Calvary's cross that we can have the right, Lord God, to ask you, oh God, for us, Lord God, for us to be blameless before you right now, for us to be pure before you right now, for we know when we sin by thoughts, by deeds, and by, Lord God, words. And so, God, we praise you today, and we thank you for, Lord God, washing that we can, Lord God, oh God, present our bodies living sacrifices unto you holy and acceptable which is our reasonable service and so father we praise you today for doing this and much much more we honor you oh god today for loving us so much that lord god you did not want us oh god to go to hell but lord god we thank you for bringing your son on earth that we could oh god have a relate relationship back on oh god unto the god the father we thank you and we bless you we honor you 
for doing this and much, much more. We ask, oh God, to breathe on us, oh Holy Spirit, that only you know how to do. Forgive us, oh God, forgive us. We pray, oh God, you shall, oh God, oh God, anoint us afresh at teaching, preaching, singing, oh God, rebuking, prophesying, declaring, decreeing, shall be made easy under the anointing of God and, and God alone. We thank you, Lord God, today for doing this for us. And those, oh God, who are coming on board, let them come, oh God, with the spirit of readiness to hear what thus saith the Lord on today. We praise your holy name for doing this and much, much more. Anoint us, oh God, oh God, our lips of clay, that, Lord God, we shall, Lord God, be your oracles, so, oh God, in the midst of everything that's going on. We thank you for hearing us, but most important, we thank you, Lord God, for answering our prayer unto you, oh God, right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. And amen. Bless the name of Jesus. I have lost some good friends a long life way some loved ones departed in heaven to stay but thank god i didn't lose everything i've lost faith in people who said they cared in the time of my crisis they were never there but in my disappointments in my season of pain one thing never wavered one thing never changed i never lost my hope oh yeah yes I never lost my joy. I never lost my faith. But most of all, I never lost my praise. My praise is still here. My praise, it's still. I left some blessings, I let them slip away. And, and I lost my focus and went astray. But thank God I didn't lose everything. I've lost possessions that were so dear. And I've, I've lost some battles by walking in fear. But thank God I didn't lose everything. Now I've lost possessions that were so dear. And I've lost some battles by walking in fear. But in the midst of my struggles, in my season of pain, one thing never wavered, one thing never changed. I never lost my home. No, 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 I never lost my joy. I never lost my faith, but most of all, I never lost my praise, my praise. Still here, my praise is still. I never lost my hope. Oh no, I never, 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 I never lost my joy. I never lost my faith, but most of all, I 
never lost my praise my praise yeah, still heal always my praise still heal Ooh, my praise is still heal my praise is still here. Thank you, God, that we never lost hope in spite of. Thank you, God, that we did not uh, lost, lost our joy. We didn't lose, oh God, our, our faith. We thank you because it is you who is keeping us and not we ourselves. We bless your name today, Father. We honor you for blessing us, oh God, that we could declare and decree that song, oh God, in the atmosphere to tell the enemy that no matter what sent, was sent our way, no matter if it was demonic or of God, we declare and decree that we stood firm in what you, oh God, is definitely doing. We bless your name today, God, and we honor you right now. Now in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, we pray right now as though that we put on the intercessory robe to praise your name for your people, your apostles, your prophets, oh my, your evangelists, your, your pastor, teacher. Oh God, we ask you, Holy Spirit, that you shall, oh God, cover them, ignite them, oh God, that only you know how what to do and how to do it. We pray you shall breathe on them, that Lord God, they shall, Lord God, gain strength strength where they may be weak and have mercy upon our the church. We pray for mercy right now for the church. That Lord God, we've been slow for and been disobedient and not doing what everything you told us to do. But now, God, we ask you that you shall, oh God, do great things in our lives. For Lord God, we know, oh God, that you will not deny a contrite heart. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you, oh God, to prick our spirit, to victim of our sins, that we can be, oh my, oh God, the true church that you called us from the foundation of the world. We pray right now for, Lord God, every law-abiding citizen. We pray, Lord God, for every every uh, uh, president and every uh, uh, um, every king and, and prince. And we thank you, Lord God, for recovery, oh God, of those who are in, oh my, in, in, in the hospitals right now. Those who, are, Lord God, who are in the rehab center. Those, Lord God, who are in the detox, oh God, and just trying, Lord God, to take that demon away. Where we rebuke, oh God, right now, the demonic world that have a hold on God's children. We declare and decree right now in the name of Jesus Christ that you shall do great things, oh God, in their lives. Oh God, that you shall, oh God, set them free from, oh God, the oppression, oh God, of depression. Right now, we thank you, Holy Spirit, and Lord God, you setting your people free from everything and anything that is not of you. Sound, Lord God, the alarm, oh God, that, Lord God, we are made free, and you open the cage, oh my God, the cage of God that's been keeping them bound, limiting them to the prayer. This is all they think it's going to be. But we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory right now. That you shall, oh God, oh God, move a way of escape, make a way of escape for them. We thank you for breakthrough, for the breaker has come and destroy, oh God, the works of the enemy right now. Father, we thank you, we give you praise that you shall, oh God, magnify Magnify yourself. Oh God, magnify us into the presence of oh God. Another, oh God, side that we've never seen before. You shall, oh God, magnify it. You shall, oh God, reveal it unto us. And in that, we shall go forward in what you called us to be. And so, God, we thank you. And so, God, we honor you for, Lord God, breathing, oh God, on those who are in prison. We pray for the people who are in prison, oh God, that they, they, they don't deserve to be there. We pray for those, oh God, who, oh God, are in prison, oh God, but they are innocent. We ask you, Holy Spirit, to breathe, oh my, oh God, on their paperwork, wherever they are, oh God, and putting, oh God, the emotions right now. We declare and decree them. You shall break free from them, for them, oh God. We thank 
thank you for what God doing there for them. Not everyone in prison that did anything wrong, but we ask you, Holy Spirit, that you shall, oh God, have mercy first and foremost, mercy upon them, and they shall walk, oh God, we release them because of the power of the Holy Ghost, and shall, oh God, fight for them, fight, Holy Spirit, that only you know how to do it. We thank you in advance for every kidnapper shall be loose, and Lord God, be free right now, free in the name of Jesus Christ, and those kidnappers, oh God, those, oh God, who are doing that, are, are the, the work of the enemy. We declare and decree right now that, Lord God, they shall, Lord God, find you, knock them off their high horse, as you did, Lord God, with Saul, and so, God, we thank you today. <laughs> That you shall, Lord God, do this for them. That only you know how to do it. We declare healing for those, oh God, who are in suffering. Who are, oh God, who are in a, uh, in a confusion state. That, Lord God, they don't know what to do. They heard and they got received a bad, a bad report. We declare every decree. That, Lord God, that you shall, Lord God, give them clarity. And, Lord God, give them strategy for them to go and do what needs to be done. However you want it to be done, rather through operation, oh God, through your word and through, oh God, a song, let it be done. We declare miracle over their lives right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless your name, oh God, for Israel. We pray, oh God, for Jerusalem and shall, oh God, gain their peace again. We pray, oh God, for those who are in war. Oh God, we ask, oh God, to let the Psalm 91 be their portion in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Father, we bless your name today, Oh God, those of pastors, oh God, who are suicidal, those oh God of apostles who are under depression, oh God, and depressive. We rebuke of that spirit. We rebuke that spirit from them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you, Lord God, again liberty, oh God, to bogard your way in their lives. Bogard their way, oh God, in their spirit, man. Bogard your way, oh God, in, Lord God, in their, in their psyche. That, Lord God, they shall be made whole again. And they, Lord God, will receive another portion of you and you alone. So, Father, we thank you. Right now, we pray for those uh, who, oh God, who are going to go to uh, to the courthouse. <laughs> we ask oh God to bless them uh, and they, they, they gain, let them gain favor in the midst of everything. And we pray even uh, the, for those, oh my, uh, who, oh God, uh, who don't even know what to do uh, in their careers. <laughs> We pray, Lord God, you shall, Lord God, direct him, oh God, in where they need to go after the Lord God they have graduated from university and college. We pray for their careers and shall, oh God, be made sure, oh God, unto them and them alone. We pray right now that you shall, oh God, cover all of our children around the world who are, oh God, are, 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 are in break time right now from school. We pray you shall, oh God, protect Take them with the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire wall of the Holy Spirit around them right now in Jesus' name. We finally thank you today for, Lord God, our elderly parents, oh God, our elderly spouse, our elderly, Lord God, of people who needs more of you. We pray, Lord God, for those who are seeking a worker. Oh God, we pray, Lord God, you shall bless them. Oh God, for them to love what they do and do what they love. <laughs> Let them love what to do and do love what they do and love what they do, love what they do. We thank you, Lord God, for giving, Lord God, a love for them to do what you call them to do. We pray for them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And we pray you shall, Lord God, and breathe on them. And Lord God, they will not, Lord God, because your word let us know the blessing of the Lord. <laughs> make it rich and have no sorrow to it. And so, God, we pray for the gifting that you're blessing us with. We will not, Lord God, be sorrow. We will not, Lord God, feel regret. We will not, Lord God, re uh, regurgitate, Lord God, a uh, 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 complaint. But, Lord God, we shall rejoice it and we shall, Lord God, even uh, fertilize it and, and, and bless it even the more. Father, we bless your name. We pray, Lord God, that we will not be an ungrateful people. That, Lord God, we will not be, uh, for forget, Lord God, our health. Health is more important than money. We pray right now. We thank you, oh God, right now for the spirit of for gratefulness and shall rest upon your children. The Lord God, they shall, oh God, be, uh, be fast to go forward to something else when they're not even enjoying where they are 
right now. We pray for that spirit. The Lord got a spirit of fast and shall cut them off right now in Jesus' name. Lord, have mercy. We bless you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for Lord God revealing, Lord God, those spirits, Lord God, and let your light shine. Light shine, Lord God, through every darkness. Light shine through every ungodly uh, attitude uh, that does not belong and does not, Lord God, uh, 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 came, come from you. We pray for them right now. We pray, Lord God, that you shall, Lord God, bless every missionary around the world right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare and decree that you shall protect them, oh God, in the, in the third world countries right now. We pray for Haiti. We pray, oh God, for North America, and South America, Asia, Europe, uh, uh, Africa, as well as uh, uh, Australia. We pray, oh God, for the continent around the world right now. Oh God, let your Lord God work with us. And Lord God, we pray that, Lord God, this broadcast will go every, every corner of the world. And Lord God, they shall receive what they're asking you for uh, through this message, through, Lord God, this word, through your word. It's all about you and not about us. So, God, we relinquish, oh God, and we cast our cares upon you, for you care for us. And so, God, we thank you for caring to the place that, Lord God, you died. You died on the cross, and not only did you die, but you got back up with all power in your hand. And in that, we live in that power. We walk in that power. We walk in that authority. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that we know who we are and whose we are because of you. And so, God, we bless you today. Anoint us afresh. Anoint us, oh God, that we can live the way you want us to live. <laughs> Anoint us a person. The Lord God, when we speak, uh, oh God, when we sing, uh, that you, oh God, will get glory out of our lives. Uh, and the people who are hearing us uh, will be edified. Uh, and oh God, we rejoice <laughs> that you spoke to somebody through uh, uh, through an earthen vessel. And so, God, we praise you today. We bless you. We honor you, oh God. Uh, we declare and we rebuke uh, every, Lord God, hidden disease. Every hidden disease in the in the lives in the body of God's people, we rebuke and let light shine them. And Lord God, expose the, the, the diseases. We tell them to come out the diseases, come out of the blood, because disease is in the blood. And so God, we thank you. And Lord God, we plunge our body, our soul, our Lord God, intent, our Lord God, uh, uh, everything in the blood of Jesus Christ. And God, we thank you today, and we bless you, we honor you for Lord God honoring us. Oh God. God, on this day, we praise you. We declare that you are going to do and you are doing a great work. And so, God, we thank you that you do all things well. <laughs> we praise you because you are the God who does everything well. We praise you today. We thank you for, Lord God, moving. Thank you, Lord God, for opening our eyes and that we will see what you want us to see. And, Lord God, we will not, Lord God, refute it. We will not, Lord, we will not, Lord God, question it. But we're going to, Lord God, take it, Lord God, into account. And, Lord God, we're going to continue on this walk that we call life. We thank you and we bless you. We honor and we praise you. It's in your name that we pray. <laughs> in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, please don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, please don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. Lord, if you're healing, Healing in this season, please don't do it without me. My God, no, don't do it without me. Lord, if you're saving, saving in this season, please don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. 
Lord, if you're delivering, delivering in the season, please don't do it without me. Yes. Don't do it without me. Yeah, God. Don't do it with out me i pray today don't do it without me Ooh, lord if you're teaching teaching in the season please don't do it without me yeah, yeah. don't do it without me Oh, Lord, if you're preaching, you're preaching in the season, please don't do it without me. Yeah, yeah. Don't do it without me. Don't do it without me. I pray today, don't do it with Help me. I desire for you to use me. Don't do it without me. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, don't do it without me. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I don't want God to do anything without me. <laughs> Amen. And so we want to continue on <clears throat> to, uh, to uh, 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 implore that. Amen. It's not just a song. It's, it's literally a prayer. <laughs> And so we want to let the Lord know that I want to be available. I want to be used by you. And so I don't know if you feel the same way I do, but in this season that we're in today, we must understand that God is looking for someone who is available. <laughs> He's looking for someone who is uh, 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 dependable. <laughs> uh, he's looking for someone who is what? Who is reliable. And so we want to sing this song, Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, please don't do it without me. Don't do it with how me looking to see who wants to be used by him. <laughs> and so we want to make sure to let him know I'm here. I'm available. And I would love for you to use me, God, because you're doing something in this season. And I want to be part of the season. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for you all. Everyone that's coming on board right now, please share this message. I beg for you all to share this because if, even if the message don't make sense um, <clears throat> to, to us, I promise you somebody's going, going to need to hear what thus saith the Lord on today. There is a word from the Lord <clears throat> and we do not want to not deliver the way he, he wants it to be delivered. And so if you have God with you, if you have Jesus with you, uh, we, we call Jesus the word, of course. <laughs> but of course, John chapter one, verse one, in the beginning was the word. Okay, so let's just not uh, be crazy. <laughs> we got to make sure that we know that the word of God is the word of God. And so if you have Jesus with you, if you have the word of God with you, please, let's open it up to the first book of the New Testament. And that is, of course, of the Old Testament. That is none other than Genesis, the beginning. And we know that um, Genesis is the one who uh, or, um, Moses was being, uh, was he the one who wrote this book? He wrote five books, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. And that's why we call it the, the five books of Moses. <clears throat> and of course, Moses was not born yet when God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit were um, doing the creation. And so Jesus was uh, dictating to him what had happened before he was born. And so because of that, we see that um, the Lord, of course, gave, told Moses exactly what to write. And so I was uh, asking God, where, where do you want me to go with this today, Lord? I know it's Father's Day coming up and everything else. And then when I heard Noah, my spirit leaped. And I said, oh, I see. And so there's uh, some Noahs out there. We want to salute every spiritual parent as well. Amen that are out there. I want to salute uh, my spiritual daughter, Apostle, Dr. Dr. Apostle. Amen. 
that Jesus. <laughs> um, uh, Maureen Manoli, amen. And uh, we thank God for you, woman of God. We've been together for over 22 years. And um, we just give God praise. We thank God for all that has been said and done. So we see how um, uh, uh, God was dictating to, Mo I mean, to, to, uh, to Moses exactly what was going on. <clears throat> Love you back. And unfortunately, after uh, the disobedience of Adam and Eve, of course, the Bible told us that <clears throat> the angel kicked them out of Eden. Kicked them out of Eden. And here we are now in a place where humanity has now experienced, are experiencing to this day, sin, suffering, um, just struggle. And uh, because of Adam, we had to, we're going through all of this. And as we're going through all of this, um, uh, the first murder in the in, in written murder, of course, is none other than Cain and Abel. We see how um, God had put a sentence on 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 um, on Cain, <clears throat> and he um, because he killed his brother Abel, and because he killed his Abel, his his brother, um, God put a sentence on him. Went on, did, God did not kill uh, um, Cain though. He made sure that they understood that mercy of God was always always around, always around. And then, of course, Adam and Eve, they produce other children. But the one that he, they produce, that, that recorded is Seth. Seth replaced Abel. Because, of course, when you read in the book of uh, um, uh, Matthew, <clears throat> it will tell you that Jesus was rebuking uh, the Pharisees and saying that they're from the, for, uh, we are, they were going to be uh, accounted for the blood of the prophets from Abel up until that time. So I, I'm going to have to say that uh, God called Abel a prophet. But unfortunately, the enemy did not want the prophet to go forward. So God created Seth. Seth comes a righteous man as he was. And on, um, <clears throat> and of course, the place that he uh, um, had uh, one of his great, great grandsons was named Enoch. And the Bible says that Enoch walked with God. Enoch walked with God to the place where uh, 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 God said, well, just come on home. <laughs> God, just, God just said, let's come on home. You, you, don't, you don't have to taste death like everybody else. And so, therefore, we see that before Enoch was transitioned to his final destination, heaven, that is, um, he had, of course, children also. So Enoch's great-grandchild, was none other than Noah. The father from Seth, Enoch, up until Noah. The father kept a legacy going. When we see that a father will always make a mark on a child's life, not just when they're holding a microphone, but in their daily life, the father trained a child, their sons, to be, to have reverence to the God of the universe. Because we see that clearly. Uh, unfortunately, uh, 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 Cain did not have that same effect. His generation, unfortunately, was very, very, uh, uh, they, were, they were mocked and, of course, they were cursed. And the Bible said that it was, it was literally the multitude of the people that were on earth grew rapidly. Hmm. But now we see that the violence was augmented on earth. The violence was so critical to the place where God was now disgusted because now the sin has now covered the nostrils of God, if I would say so. So we see in that uh, God has now made a, 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 a decision where he is going to now wipe the people from the earth. However, uh, Genesis chapter 7, I'm sorry, chapter 6, we're going to start with, with, um, 
verse five. And it says, then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great on in, in the earth and everything intended of, of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. So unfortunately, uh, Cain as a father did not do the right thing with his, with his generation. Uh, and so we, we, we're seeing how we're talking about the fathers. We're not going to go through all the detail of the flood as we, we normally would. But I want to express, express to you how important it is for a father to put an imprint of the fear of God in their children. Let's keep it in verse six. And the Lord was sorry that he had made man on the earth and he was grieved in his heart. We don't want to grieve the Holy Spirit. We do not want to grieve um, uh, God the Father. We do not want to grieve Jesus Christ and putting him back on the cross as Paul would de describe later on. Um, but so 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 he, he was just like, God was, was very, very displeased of the actions, what he keeps seeing when he sees the earth. So the Lord said, I will destroy man, verse seven, whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, creeping things and birds of the air. For I am sorry that I had made them. Wow. That is a hurting uh, verse by itself for us to hear uh, 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 the depth of what God was feeling for humanity. God the Father was feeling for humanity. But verse 8 is the clincher. But, but Noah found grace or favor in the eyes of the Lord. Why? Because I believe that Noah, and we're going to see that, why I, I say that, because we're going to see that later on in the same chapter, that Noah continued on the legacy of what what um uh his great his grandfather his great grandfather Enoch had done um just walk with God pray to God uh, uh sought God uh, um did even even when we read in, in, in chapter 8 you will see that after the flood was was all said and done what happened uh we see that um, he even made an altar for the god of the universe in the sense of telling God thank you to the fathers and the spiritual fathers, we want to talk to you today. And we want to encourage you to do the right thing on the, in the eyes of your children and your spiritual children. Because at the end of it all, we must understand that we, um, uh, we have a generation that we must train correctly. And when, thank God, Seth, trained his children enoch demonstrated <laughs> what seth was doing and now uh, uh, uh noah is demonstrating seth and enoch at the same time in a corrupt world in a corrupt society we're seeing here that uh, uh noah stood his ground in what his great grandfather had instilled in him and so we're not going to talk about of, 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 of anything else besides us uh, making sure that we infiltrate the fear of God, <laughs> the fear of God. Amen. And so when we understand the concept of, uh, of, of what a father is supposed to do, the duty of a father <laughs> is, is so great to the place that, that God bless Seth's generation bless Enoch's generation to let Noah be the second father of humanity for humanity <laughs> we're seeing here that Adam had did his thing um unfortunately he 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 he, he did he start off right but he unfortunately did uh, uh, disobey no matter how it is and so uh, he now understood he understood that you know, there's something I'm sure that he had regret that he had listened to his wife and everything that, that, that doesn't matter right now but after Adam then came corruption. And after cor corruption, now we have a Noah. Noah means rest or or um, or comfort. So we must birth a Noah <laughs> in our generation. 
Mm -hmm. We must birth a Noah in our in our ministry. Mm -hmm. we, we must birth a Noah. That's because we don't know what the end is going to be, but we must do our part, and that is to 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 instill. Uh, the Bible says Solomon t t is sharing with us, and Solomon wants us to understand that we need to train up a child in the way they should go. And when they become old, they will not depart from it. And so Noah did not depart from um, the the, uh, uh, the instruction of, of his father, his grandfather, his great-grandfather. When he heard, when he discovered how his great-grandfather Enoch had transitioned without Tasting death. Woo! Uh, guess what? I, I believe uh, uh, Noah said, "Wow, that is in my, in my that's in my legacy." Yes. And so, so we want us to understand the father. <laughs> uh, Noah, uh, 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 the father, uh, uh, wants to talk to to the fathers, to the natural fathers, to the foster fathers, uh, to the adopted fathers, to the the fathers in the community. The fathers needs to understand how important it is to instill the right things. Don't be a set, don't don't be a cane. Let's be a set versus down to going down to an Enoch, going down to a Noah to restart the humanity again. I guarantee you, God did not tell any of them this. <laughs> I guarantee, because of course God is omniscient, that he knows all things. So I don't even think that Noah even had that in his miracle. I don't think he believed that he, he, uh, he didn't, I don't think Noah even understood um, uh, 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 the value of his worth on earth. <laughs> in spite of the destruction, the violence that is going on, all wickedness is always in, in someone's mind. Listen, how, how can how can <laughs> you think evil all day, every day? Because you don't have the Holy Spirit. Because when a person has the Holy Spirit, there's no way you're going to. My Bible tells me in, in, in Romans 8, whatsoever things are lovely, true, uh, pure, uh, wholesome, think <laughs> on these things. And so we see it here that, that he had, uh, 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 he was around evil. Evil was around him all the time. Mm. And so because evil was around him all the time, evil did not, saints, evil did not <laughs> uh, overpower his, his, um, his, his authority in, in understanding that the God that his father had used, the great grandfather, the, the one that he had to serve, did not uh, 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 supersede him. Evil cannot, listen, saints, Evil cannot and will not <laughs> uh, supersede the goodness of God in your life. The, uh, uh, your grandmother's prayer. Uh, in my book, uh, 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 prayer, uh, uh, Legacy of Prayer. Let, let, let me show it to you real quick. In my book, Legacy of Prayer, my grandmother and grandfather, Grandpa uh, uh, um, uh, Albert, showed us he, they infants they, they literally demonstrate what godly living supposed to look like <laughs> so if you have a, a, of course my father who's a pastor so if you have a father that is instilling in you the goodness of god in in your life you must tell tell god thank you for your father because he is like a noah let's keep reading so so God was saying to himself, I'm going to destroy everybody. But he saw Noah. And when he saw Noah, he, he blessed Noah with favor or grace, whichever way, because it's the same thing in, the, in his eyes. Verse um, 9 says, this is the gen genealogy of Noah. Noah was a just man, a perfect in his generation, and uh, Noah walked with God. Three major things a father must have. This is Genesis chapter 6, verse 9. Three major things that, that a father must have in order for their his, his generations <laughs> to go forward in uh, superseding evil, violence around them. 
they uh, 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 it must you must be righteous <laughs> just righteous man so therefore, uh, uh, he, he he did his best to to live a holy life. He did his best to uh, 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 not just talk a holy life, but live a holy life. And the second thing, he's uh, perfect in his generation. In other words, uh, he was mature. Um, he he was uh, um, he sought the Lord. And so 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 a, a, a true father is supposed to seek the Lord all the time. Asking God direction all the time. You must understand that since you you are a priest in your house, then you have to ask the king for direction. <laughs> I'm gonna make that very clear to every every father. You must always go to God to get direction. And of course, at the end, Noah walked with God. He he did what his grandfather did. And that was walk with God. What does that mean? I'm glad you asked. He walked with God to the place where uh um he sung unto the Lord uh, Zion songs. He prayed to God. He sacrificed uh, uh, uh unto God. And uh, uh and of course he he I'm sure he did charitable uh, such, uh, things with with, with 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 his neighbor. So therefore he walked with God. He fellowship with God. He communed with God. Uh, um, he probably fasted and, 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 and prayed to God. That's what it means. So if, if God is telling Moses who this man is, you know God is not going to lie. God is going to tell you exactly what's going on. Verse 10, and Noah begot three sons, Shem, Ham, and Jotham. Verse 11, and the earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. Was saints, it was filled with violence. <laughs> so when, when it is filled with violence to that degree, that means that that means that hell was on earth. This is just my opinion. Hell must have been on earth for it to be violent to that point, to that, to that magnitude. So God looked upon the earth and indeed it was corrupted, corrupt for all flesh had corrupted their way on the earth. Verse 13. And God said to Noah, the end of all flesh has come before me for the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with fire. I'm sorry, with water. So now we're seeing here this, this father, know what the father has connection with God because God is now revealing to Noah what he's about to do. Why? Because in verse eight, God, Noah found grace, gained favor. Do you know what how how important it is for for a father to find grace in the midst of evil all around them? This is a this is a very important task all by itself for us to understand uh, 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 that this man. We're not saying that he's a prophet. That, that's, not, that's not what we're saying. We're just saying that God now has now re is revealing Himself to Noah. And Noah now is now hearing God saying, here's my plan, Noah. And I'm going to need you <laughs> to help me out with this plan. Because once you do your part, I'm going to do mine. I'm letting you know I'm going to destroy everything and everyone. This man of God was dumbfounded because... You have to understand there was no such thing as, 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 as rain. So what is rain, God? Water's going to come from heaven? I thought water come from the, uh, under the earth. <laughs> it never rained. It never rained up until uh, um, Noah under 40 days. It never rained. So we're seeing here that something new is about to happen 
in this man of God's life that's going to literally change the whole aspect of his generation. I don't know who you are, where you are in your spiritual walk, but I want to let you know as fathers and as 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 men of God, God is about to shift some things around that you've never seen done before in your generation. I'm prophesying to somebody uh, uh, because no one did not expect it to be into this magnitude. It, it, it was a hard task. And so we're seeing here that God is now telling Noah what he's about to do on earth. And I need you, Noah, to as a father to protect your family. I'm going to ask you to get uh, to, to make a, um, an ark. What's an ark? You have to understand also that Noah was never been recorded of him being a carpenter. So God is about to push some fathers into something new that's out of their norm. <laughs> prophesying, Holy Ghost, you prophesying so good. Uh, um, and so God is about to push some fathers into something that is something that's new and not even something that they would ever thought of doing. Because Noah was not a carpenter, according, I don't see that nowhere in scripture. So God is about to give him something, a, a something brand new. And of course, by him trusting God and by him walking with God, he's going to, he, he, he's now going to do something new. A new season is coming that's going to be requiring you to do something new. Something new. Not something that you're familiar with, <laughs> but it's going to be something that is new to you. And you and I are going to have to, listen to me well, saints, uh, you and I are going to have to do what? We are going to have to uh, trust God in that season, <laughs> in that process. And so we see, let's keep reading. And so now God is giving him the blueprint. Verse 14, it said, verse 14 through 16 is telling him, uh, you're going to make this ark out of gopher, uh, 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 um, yeah, gopher wood. Uh, you're going to have one door and one window. <laughs> it's going to have three decks, I mean, uh, 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 three uh, 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 flights. And so therefore, it's going to be wide as a uh, half a football stadium so because you're going to and you as a father going to protect your family you you i need you your wife your three sons and their wives as a father he is protecting not only him and his wife but he's also protecting his generations <laughs> a true father will protect the next, their next generation. I don't know who it is that needs to understand the role of a father is not just going to work and come home and sleep. No, the role of a father is to now protect and, and instruct and lead. <laughs> and that's exactly what Noah had done. Remember, we're looking at Noah as a father right to, on today. So he, he, first of all, he, he's not, of course, we're going to find out that um, he is now uh, about to do something else. Now he's about to preach as he, as he build. <laughs> preach as he build. All right, let's keep going. Verse 17, and behold, I myself am bringing uh, floodwaters on the earth to destroy from under heaven all flesh in which is the breath of life everything that is on earth shall die god god is going to tell you some things that's going to boggle your mind saints can we claim that today we declare and decree that the lord of the universe is going to give us heads up <laughs> it's going to give us a uh uh what he's going to tell us the next move his next is his he's doing it not the devil not listen, not the devil. What, what, what did he say in verse 17? And behold, I myself 
am bringing the floodgates. The, I'm bringing the, 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 the flood waters. Not Satan. Not witchcraft. <laughs> but I'm doing, I'm about to do this. <laughs> if anybody, if, if it was a religious person, they would say, oh, the devil, no, ain't the devil. We're not going to get in the devil no room. Like, no, 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 no. God said that he's about to do something great. But yet, it's, it, we th when we think of great, we think of, oh, ma massive. Oh, uh, uh, no, sometimes the great means terrible. <laughs> and, so, and so God wants us to understand that the next season that's about to hit, it's going to be great to the place where um, he's going to demolish some things and some people out of your life. That's going to be like a flood. But at the end, you're going to know God even more. That's prophecy for somebody this morning. Amen. And so he's saying here clearly that um, he's going to, all everything on earth is going to die. Verse 18. But I will establish, listen, listen, saints, listen to the word, what God is saying to, to, to Noah. Noah, he said, he said, but I will establish my covenant with you, Noah, and you shall go into the ark, you, your sons, your wife, and your son's wives with you. So therefore he's giving protection and salvation and guarantee it. God is guaranteeing it's only you eight people <laughs> that's going to be saved and be protected from the destruction that's about to hit that I am bringing. I'm the one <laughs> is going to uh, destroy these people. And so, could you imagine? This is a man that a, a, a father has never have, had a hammer. <laughs> uh, and so now he's going to have to know, learn how to use a hammer. Woo! Uh, how to know how to uh, uh, get, get things done. Uh, and of course, while he's getting it done, what is he doing? He's preaching. He says that there's going to be rain. Something new is about to hit. What are you talking about, Noah? There's no rain. What, what's rain? What is that? <laughs> what, what, what is that? No, what, what are you saying? I don't understand what you're talking about. So he was just talking for 120 years. My God. Because guess what? At the end of it all, we must know that, that Noah preached for 120 years the same message. Noah kept saying, Get yourself together. There's going to be disaster hitting. And I don't want you to not be in the ark. But guess what? Even when he preached, God already determined that who was going to be in. Just Noah and his family. Do, do we understand this? <laughs> Even though we preached the gospel. Huh? But God already knew no one was going to be entering in except for Noah and his family. That's serious stuff here. Because sometimes we may think that uh, um, our friends, our cousin, our co-worker, our neighbors, uh, our past, uh, everybody's supposed to be. No. God will tell you exactly who's supposed to be in your circle. <laughs> I, I, I pray that you and I will really get a, get a, get a grip on um, us, understand that it, it, you don't need 8,000 people or 800 people on, with you. All you need is that eight. G Jesus had th uh, 12 disciples, but he really only trained three. That's a word for somebody today to understand that you don't need a crowd a massive crowd for you to do God's work. You only need a faithful few. And God will tell you, saints, do you, are you, I want you to understand that God already told Noah who are supposed to be with Noah in that season. God is going to reveal who's supposed to be in your, uh, in your life. Who's supposed to be the James, John, James, uh, uh, Peter and John. And so, and so the father protected, God the father told God, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, God the father told uh, 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 um, uh, Noah, 
the, uh, the, the earthly father how to protect his family and preserve his next generation. Noah is the only one. He's the second father of humanity who literally uh, uh, started humanity all over again. And so sometimes destruction must hit for, for better to come. Destruction must hit for better to come. And so we see that um, in the book of Hebrews, Lord have mercy, the book of Hebrews, verse 11, the, what we call uh, 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 um, the Hall, 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 Hall of Fame of Faith, uh, um, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 7. Now, you must understand, uh, in Genesis, Moses mentioned Noah's story in five chapters. The author of Hebrews, out of the five chapters, he only mentioned Noah about with, with one verse. <laughs> with one verse. And let's read what it says. By faith, Noah being divinely warned of things not yet seen. See? Not yet seen. So therefore... This is what this is what we're saying. Rain never hit, never hit the people's face, never hit the ground. No, it was never seen before. So something new that God gave uh, um, Noah privy to, and of course the people did not want to hear it. Move with godly fear. He moved. He, he, he did not hesitate. He didn't say, okay, God, give me everything you're going to do. Uh, no, he, he just, whatever, every step that he got, he had to do an art. Okay, let's get the woods. God says, oh, go for wood. Let's be specific. He said specifically, go for wood. So he had to go get go, go for wood. And of course, go for wood has gum in it. So therefore, it, it will stick easier. And of course, it would not um, break under pressure with water. And so he moved with godly fear. He said, oh, my God, let me get myself to, I don't know what this is. I've never seen rain myself, but God said a word rain, and I'm going to go with that. <laughs> and what else happened? Preparing an ark for the for saving of his household. That's a father. That's what a father supposed to do. That's, that's what a spiritual father supposed to do. Protect his ministry. Protect his his his, his um uh, uh who who God had uh, entrusted him to uh, uh to teach the word of God to preach the word of God too. Yeah. By which he com uh, condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is according to the faith. So we see here that he, Noah was so uh, uh, noble in what he did. What did he do? He he started humanity all over again with the help of the Holy Spirit. And, and, and with that, the Father uh, is letting us understand how it is uh, to uh, uh, to to bridge the gap and to to make the people of God not understand how it is important uh, for a father to teach the word live the word uh and in that that's how god is god is saying that when we when we when we take what he says and, and when he what, when he takes what he's done guess what's going to happen now now he's going to preserve those who have fear of him <laughs> and so so it, it was so bad that god of course here comes the rain after 120 years the rain came 40 days and 40 nights it come, the water literally covered the whole earth. <laughs> it cut listen, saints, there was no land. And so when the when when the when the rain was hitting, the rain even uh, made the boat, or rather the, the ark float like a boat. So once after the 15th day, I'm sorry, the the, uh, the 40th day was over. When the 40th night was over, they waited two and a half more months. 
And that's in Genesis chapter 8, verse 5. They waited two and a half more months to see if there's any. They kept opening the, uh, um, they kept cracking the window to see if there's any life out there. And they finally saw uh, some of the mountaintops. They started seeing mountaintops. And then after that, they, they went another 40 days again. Uh -huh. According to Genesis chapter 8, verse 6 and 7. So now uh, Noah took a raven and sent it out there hoping that the raven can't, will come. Unfortunately, the raven never came. So when we when when Noah did not see the raven come back, seven days later, according to well, I'm sorry, um, Genesis chapter eight, verse ten and eleven, he now sent out a dove. The dove now came back with a uh, a piece of olive leaf in his beak, and so he was. Uh, uh, he he the, the, the hope came back. I never lost my hope. <laughs> hope came back, and so now uh, uh, he wanted to be sure. So he sent out the dove again, but this time the dove did not come back. So guess what, saints? From the the day that the flood started up until the day. They came out of the ark was one full year. They stayed one full year inside the ark. This father preserved his legacy, preserved um, his generation, preserved his family, even preserved animal life. <laughs> That's, that is huge, saints. The role of a father is... It's, it's so vast and so wide. We cannot just define it with just one thing. The role of a father means that you are now, um, if, if a person did not have, if you are a, a, a false a, a father uh, or, or, or neighborhood father that, that the father is not, not in the child's life, you're supposed to nourish that child for that child to start knowing exactly what life is all about. Noah did just that. When they came out of it all, they started civilization all over again. That's why uh, uh, the title is uh, The Second Father of Humanity. Adam started it. Unfortunately, generation came through and he, <laughs> he uh, 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 violence hit, uh, hit the land. God destroyed it, and what did he do? Started it all over again with Noah. So I wanted to let you Noahs know that you, what you're doing is significant. A Noah could even be a, another husband. <laughs> a Noah could be uh, another uh, 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 a, a leader in, in the political world. This, we must understand that there's always a second uh, 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 turnaround, an, another uh, uh, a turnaround that's going to make a generation or humanity look better. Then you are a Noah. So I praise God for you all Noahs to know that uh, you all are doing a good work. And of course, we know that um, uh, uh, after he came out, Unfortunately, uh, uh, somehow or another, he got he got a hold of some kind of wine or whiskey or moonshine, <laughs> and the Bible says he 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 was um, he was full of spirits. In other words, he was drunk. And uh, Ham is the one that, uh, unfortunately, said, "Ah, oh, come and see, Daddy. Daddy, that Daddy is um, our father is uh." Is half naked and he's drunk. The next day, unfortunately, when um, he came to find out what had happened, and uh, the father 
curse the son. You see how powerful uh, the voice of a father is? The father cursed his son. You must understand that Ham is, of course, Egypt. Uh, the, 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 the lineage for that is um, Egyptian and African, Africa. So he cursed the son. So a father can curse or bless. Do not remember Adam, um, Adam. I'm sorry, Abraham. Abraham, what did he do? He cur he he blessed Jacob. So there's power in the mouth of a father. So we just want to make sure to. So the fathers to understand their role, it is nothing light. It is, it is heavy at times. That's why you got to go to the father, God, the father. So I want to bless you all today. If you are a, a, a Noah, to God be the glory for you. If you had a grandfather, a Enoch, to God be the glory for you. If you are uh, in the lineage of, of, of a Seth, to God be the glory for you. We bless God for you all today. And we pray that you shall continue on to celebrate one another. Life is too short, saints. Let us celebrate one another with a God we love in Jesus' name. And Lord, we thank you today. We bless your holy and matchless name for allowing us to, to understand the role of a father. That, Lord God, is more than just uh, uh, going to work and coming back home. But we thank you, Lord God, that we have a duty to instill uh, what you have, Lord God, bless us, Lord God, to infiltrate on our children. We pray for our children today, and we ask you, Holy Spirit, that you shall bless them wherever they are. And you shall, Lord God, remember them as well. We thank you, Lord God, for our generation. Shall, Lord God, be blessed. We command and we declare that our generation are blessed. Right now, in Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord God, for our children shall call us blessed. And, Lord God, we shall, Lord God, see the fruit of our labor, of our, Lord God, praying, our fasting, our, our sighs are before you. We pray for the fathers that, that, Lord God, they shall be men of prayer and they shall hear your voice. And, oh God, and hear, Lord God, and come and, 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 and execute your command. We thank you, Lord God, for those fathers who, Lord God, who want, Lord God, to make a difference in the lives of their generation. We praise you. We thank you. We honor you and we adore you. It's in your name that we pray. Your name is Jesus forever and ever. Amen and amen. May the Lord bless thee and keep thee. May the Lord's face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. May the Lord look of his countenance before thee and grant thee peace in your home, on your job, uh, in your career, in your ministry, in your marriage, in your family, in your health, in your mindset. Until the Lord calls us home, I say shalom to you <laughs> and yours. God bless.